So if you have the Asus X 550BX, you probably uh, have been having the same problem I had, which is a the computer will freeze and make a strange sound, and sometimes it will lead to a blue screen. So after looking on the internet, I found a solution, and I will leave the link to the post on the description, and it's here. And what's causing the problem is the the wireless uh, a a wireless driver the new version of the wireless driver so what you have to do is just to use a old version and all your problems are going to be solved um, so this is the web page and if you have like a different model it's going to be the same process so you have to go to support and then this is the page and then you have to go to driver tool driver and tools and you have to choose in my case is the 500 px and then windows 10 64 bit and it's going to throw all the drivers so the one that we're looking for is the real tech but this is for the lan we need the wireless one which is wireless so this is the one show all and and the version that i'm trying and that i have been having good results i haven't it hasn't froze since i changed the drivers is mm, this one real tech wireless LAN driver from 2015 so you click download and i already had done that so once the download is finished i uh, just extract the field because it's on a rar field and you open this and you run the setup which is here and then after you run the setup you have to restart the computer but in my and it should now work but that wasn't the case with my computer i had to manually change the driver uh, so you should check that the driver has changed and the way to do it is just you go to home and then just try well it's the device manager so you go here And it's taking some time, I guess it's because it's recording. Um, because I have a video playing, just to show off that this thing is really working. I'm not afraid of a blue screen. So you go to wireless adapters, and here's the one that's causing the trouble. So you go to properties, uh, driver, and driver details. Well, you don't have to watch the driver details, but here's the like the version and the driver date. So we need the 2015. If you have luck with a uh, newer versions, let me know in the comments. And if it's not the case that you have deselected, like if it's 2017, you need to go to update driver, browse my, browse my computer for driver software, and let me pick from about live drivers. So here are the different drivers and the different dates. Uh, so if you, if your installation was correct, uh, this version, the 2015, should should appear. Uh, so you select it, and then next, accept and yes. And I don't know what else is going to say. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it. But this one needs to be the one selected. And after you finish, it won't tell you to restart. But I will suggest you to do it and um, it's everything you need to do and now your computer is going to run uh, smooth and fast and without worrying about a blue screen of the thank you very much see you next time